We're gonna give you one of the best workouts that you can utilize to improve your explosive speed for wrestling, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so when we're training explosive speed for wrestling, we've gotta think about this is a workout that should be done the second or third day of the week. So you're gonna do some real heavy lifting for wrestling, right? You're gonna do a leg day, maybe you do an upper body day. Now we can do some plyometric work to really focus in on that speed. So we're gonna give you those five key exercises and we're looking to attack this from a unilateral aspect as well from a bilateral aspect. Think about someone like Jordan Burroughs, Kyle Dick, David Taylor, Gable Stevenson, Nick Wisdowski, all these animals and how fast they are when they're taking their shot, how they set up their shot and how quickly they can react. That's what we're trying to build as we work through this entire workout. <laughs> The whole point of this is to mimic someone like when you would get dominated on the mat. Oh. Like when Kyle Snyder took you so down. So someone has your leg up. Someone has their leg up. Okay, well, and you're defending my fucking leg up. And you're defending them. Just hold my leg up and I'll so, defend it. So, first exercise. So hold my leg up and I'll defend it. Is gonna be the high leg mini hurdle hops. Yeah? That's <laughs> the wrong way. You don't want it out there. <laughs> and so we've got two time state champ. Jan Johnson, and he's gonna demonstrate this with a quick reaction. The whole goal is that we wanna be nice and easy reacting. Think about with folk style wrestling is, that's too low, Jan. Folk style wrestling, we're gonna, we're gonna see you know, takedowns like this. This isn't where we wanna be offensively, but if we can react quickly and we have that explosive speed from a bad situation, we can get out of it and we can try to get ourselves into a better position by utilizing exercises like this. I'd say, you know, use five sets, Three each side, focus on that good stability and good hip mobility and dynamic trunk control. Nice and easy. Is your hip cramping? Is your hip cramping? No. I hope it does. If I'm here. <laughs> nice and easy. We just want to build that quad strength, good reactiveness all throughout our knee. We want to be a little bit plantar flex back here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create an isometric action in our, in my non-dominant leg here, okay? And then that's going to help me to eventually, when I build up enough strength from the front leg, now I can take a better shot and I can react quicker from the isometric action developing that plantar flexion strength. Again, I'll say this the entire video, two-time PA state champ, Jan Johnson is gonna demonstrate how to do this. My <laughs> question is, your left leg is your non-dominant leg? Yeah. No, it's not. Well, it is to a point. But it's not. For throwing it is. So it's supposed to be in a stand? Yeah. And then react quickly, yeah. See if you go quicker, yeah, quicker when that grounds. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, quick the whole way through? Yeah. So you wanna like keep your hips that same height, and even as you progress through, he could change his level of his hips to mimic what he'd be doing out on the mat. So the first two exercises, the high leg uh, in the band, and then this are the easier plyometric movements that we're gonna utilize to improve your explosive speed on the mat. Okay. Good job, Jan. I actually burned my quads. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I was telling you in the beginning, but you weren't listening to me. Okay, so the first exercise of the second group is going to be a hurdle walk under, so we want to improve our hip mobility and then work that bilateral explosiveness. Okay, so we're here, and then I'm going to plant this right leg, come under here, okay? I'm going to plant here, left leg plants, I'm going to rotate, and jump. And so what we're trying to do is just get used to being explosive from that lower position. So we're trying to improve our hip mobility and improve our hip explosiveness from that deeper position. The whole goal is where the right one, yeah, now keep that right there. Yeah, good job, now do that again. 
two more times. Yeah, hey, but that's okay. But don't move that. Don't move that. Yeah. Good. One more. Good. No, you don't. I jump more than you. I have better bunnies than you do because I want a real state title. A real one. <laughs> so the next exercise that we're gonna do after we do the hurdle walk under to hurdle hop is now we're gonna work on actually reacting and driving forward very, very rapidly, okay? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the walk under to a hurdle hop. Then we're gonna do a, a drop, so a depth drop. And you're gonna go right into a bound here. So we're gonna go drop, two bounds, drop, two bounds. So again, we're gonna go here and we wanna think about changing level and reacting quickly. It's here. And now PIAA state champ two times. It's a shame. It's a shame it was he got, a It's a shame he got smacked in the his sophomore year is going to demonstrate. So drop, react, two bounds. Good. One, on one more. One more. Great job, Jan. Smacked my sophomore year. I weighed, 100, I weighed in at 188 pounds. Took a part, weighed in at 198. <laughs> okay, two-time PIAA state champ, only two-time District 3 champion in wrestling. Jan Johnson is no, going to show us, yes, you true. only won two District 3 titles. Oh, yeah. He's going to go from a knee jump, so I want to see good hip extension and quick reaction with his feet. He's going to land in a crouch position, like a half squat, right? Do two hurdle hop, land and react quickly up on the box, and I want to see him land and control his landing and stay in place. He tends to fall forward because he's not athletic because he didn't win a state title in, wrestle, in, in, in shot putting. Damn it, I screwed up my troll. So, Jane's gonna demonstrate. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't control the landing. Cut. <laughs> huh? No, yeah, you gotta go. The whole goal that I want to see is big hips with that first jump from the knees. Think about if you're sprawling and you're hammering your hips into that dude's head, okay? Think about that as you extend rapidly. Then we want a quicker reaction on that first landing quickly over those hurdles and then ground and control your landing on the box. Okay. One more attempt for Jan. Do you have your toes up or flat? Uh, either way. So like no, uh, to toes like that. Okay. Good. So that'd be the, the last exercise that we want to see. We want to do five or six sets of that really quick reactions. Think about how this is going to apply to the mat. We want to get strong. We want to do the big lifting. We want to do big upper body work, but we also have to be quick so that we can handle all those scrambles. If you guys need help with your programming, you need help being more athletic, being more coordinated at that high speed, Click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our wrestling strength training programs. If you want more content, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace. <laughs>